So we come to number six of this yogic Qigong sequence or hypno Qigong sequence. Uh, this one's called Two Hands Climb the Legs to Strengthen the Kidneys. Um, basically, it's flexion and extension of the spine. Um, again, you can modify it, you can go in not as deep or deeper if you like. And generally, the hands run down the meridians of the kidneys and the urinary bladder tract. Um, but we don't want to go down that line, went down that line in a lot of the other videos. Um, gonna go more down the line of adding the yogic breath in, the ujjayi breath in, and we're gonna add that to the elongated exhale, which is gonna bring in the hypnotic responses. So again, gone through that on the other videos, just gonna go, go for that and breathe. Breathing from the nose and out for the nose. A smaller filter, so it'll lengthen the out, or the breath, the, all the breath. But we're gonna also elongate that out breath longer than the in breath. So, breathe in the belly like a balloon. Gonna go through the basic way of that. Again, I could tell you to fill up from the bottom all the way to the top, and then reverse that. That's the more detailed way in Taoist yoga. It goes up and down the chakras. But I'm not gonna go through that. I'm gonna literally tell you to breathe into the belly like a balloon and then fill up as much as you can basically. That's just an easier way to get that breathing, make it simplify it so it's not over detailed because there's a lot of detail with the Ujjayi stuff when we add that on. Okay, just basically breathe into that belly like a balloon. If you want to pull up from the perineum, feel free and elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, in and out through the nose. So if you do that now. And now I've just added the Ujjayi breath, sighing breath. So we're breathing through the nose. And it's like a, with the mouth shut. So it's a, so we're breathing in through this nose, but we're gonna grip at the esophagus. And we're gonna exhale with the mouth shut. And you'll find the, e, the out breath will naturally want to elongate. And that's what we're doing to bring in the parasympathetic nervous system. So you keep doing that. That'll allow the simplicity just to relax the mind, just letting go of that out breath, not forcing anything. In breath, conscious thought, out breath, subconscious thought. So as we extend the out breath, that encourages the subconscious part of the mind to relax. As we link that to motion, nice simple motion, show the traditional motion, but all we're gonna do is elongate the move, which is basically flexure of the spine on the out breath, okay? So from there, feet can be together to make it harder, or slightly parted, the general way in Qigong, or wider if you want to make it easier. You can bend the knees more if need be, or even place the hands here. If you're coming back from a bad back problem or you know it's later on in the years or whatever, you can do that. But again, from here, you're gonna go through the actual motion, the traditional motion, and then just take it and add these on. So from here, it's basically flexion. Again, it's not like you tonight, it's nowhere stretching to stretch. You could add that in if you wanted, it wouldn't do you no harm. Feet can be together to make it harder or slightly parted. Um, again, we're gonna exhale down the urinary bladder tract, then breathing up. So we're gonna be exhale down the kidney meridian there, and then we're gonna breathe in, come up. The urinary bladder tract all the way up, exhaling down, placing the hands here, breathing in here. So you prepare to exhale down the outside of the legs, breathing up the inside of the legs, and exhaling down, then breathing into here. And all we're gonna do is elongate the exhale on them as we do the Ujjayi breath. So from there, we're gonna just breathe in, take the hands to here. Now we elongate this part Remember here, you can have the knees softer if need be. 
or even support here. Okay, then we're gonna breathe in quicker. And we're gonna, on the exhale, we're gonna elongate this part, bringing down the essence. Then we're gonna breathe in here. Sharper in breath. So again, I've just done that, but again, if you wanna do the Ujjayi breath, you. It's a bit of a sharp or, sharp or you know, shorter in breath, then longer out breath. You breathe in and exhale down slow. This bit's longer. Breathing the pair, hands on the kidneys, and you go again. Again, take that out traditional, just taking the motion with it. If you wanted to have a stretch to stretch, and really as you elongate that out breath, like Uttanasana, come down, have a stretch. It could be chest on the thighs, there, pulling up from the hips. Iyengar style, okay, keeping the chest on the thighs, or the Hatha oriented version. Straighten the legs, but not blocking them. Soften the knees. Okay, and just having a good stretch on the hamstrings, the glutes, the buttocks, and the lumbar region and the spine. Um, up to you how you do that. Again, feet can be in to make it harder on the stretching of them muscles, or slightly parted. Need to be softer, you know, or if you really, you know, really just come down this far, you know, depend it's optional to you. Adapt it to you, especially if you're coming back from a really bad injury, you might just want to do, make it really easy and then take it on further as you go. Um, that was number six of the yogic hypno Gong sequence based on the eight brocades, not necessarily bang on it. Um, and we got number seven, which is punching with an angry gaze or the charging fist in other forms it's called. Lovely, bang.